A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this collective reading session, the message is that their disinterest towards karmic and also there is a word disloyalty but disinterest is the key word here. The disinterest towards karmic makes them realize that they can't be with anyone else other than you. So, now we don't promote any obsession, any madness and this and that. We only promote people who have true love and they somehow got into a misunderstanding, somehow got separated. We give them a hope that you can bring your love back because there are so many problems that people face in life. What is life without any challenges? And at the same time, if people are in abusive relationships, physically, mentally, emotionally, in whichever way they are abused by someone, then also we tell them that you need to give it a break. You need to think about what you want to do. If you don't resonate with this message, then you can look for some other one because there are so many channelings here. And if you want a personalized session, then you can write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com after you go through the description box. All right. And kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me. We have a step-by-step -step process to get to the best, most solution-oriented and honest answers. Honest answers is what we all need in this journey. All right. So let's get started and see what's happening here in this particular session, this situation. Okay, so wonderful cards have come and the very first card is the moon and it's obviously a divine card as well. And it is not a very positive card, which means that the thing that I spoke about, this situation, the progression of the situation is that they are first of all not happy. There are a lot of quarrels going on, a lot of arguments going on, which they don't like at all. And though they have tried a lot to work this relationship out because when they entered with in a relationship with this particular karmic again this is not gender specific so it can be anyone who possesses the feminine or the masculine energy so here the masculine is the one who probably tilted towards a karmic relationship like usually it happens so here i'm being shown a karmic situation it could also be karmic entanglement which means that they don't choose a person, but they choose something else over it. Some other thing that can replace the love they feel for the feminine. Now, there is, there are, he feels constantly when he looks at the karmic, the first feeling he gets it, that it's a hidden enemy. You know, they feel uh, deception. They feel they are getting deceived by this person. They don't see... Uh, any stability they don't see any consistency they only see and there is also a lot of uh, punishment that that are being given he never thought that someone else is going to punish him because he used to he used punishment you know he used punishment as a tool but here he is getting constantly punished so every time something goes wrong between him and the karmic she will punish him in some way you know she or he whosoever is playing the karmic role we don't know that that is something that you all would know so there is a lot of uh, false and defamatory statements you know that are being thrown at this person in order to damage their reputation and slander them and you know smear their name everywhere so he is getting this type of strong you know he's getting angry that why my name is getting slandered why my reputation is getting damaged well, in the, on the contrary, he has been very nice. He, she, whosoever, again, not gender specific, have been very nice to the karmics. They have been very nice to the karmic. And so they feel that after being so nice, after giving everything I could to this person, this is what I get in return. Like, I wish I had done this for my feminine. I so wish I had done it for her. I've lost her, obviously. Because I made the biggest mistake of my life. I have given her a very bad heartbreak, which I still regret. And they feel very ashamed of what they did. And now they have a big situation. So at first, I'm only being shown that they have to handle this situation. Okay. 
and once again the seven of swords have popped up this popped up in the last reading also and it fell down just now while i'm you know talking to you guys so first they need to fix their reputation is what they are thinking about so they are going like literally head on into this situation now because they are done they are done they don't they can't take it anymore they can't like it's not there you know humanly it's not possible that they can do it anymore so what they do instead is now instead of working it out first they try to work it out they try to talk about it and there is this very strong negative energy because moon the card moon has a very strong energy very like like you're done you're like oh my god i can't deal with this on a daily basis on a daily basis it's happening you know arguments and you know everything is like every dialogue everything every word is like false or it is made up it you can't trust it even the smiles on the faces are fake and there are a lot of hidden uh, meanings also like hidden enemies are there like he would think that you know maybe the karmic sister is close to him so he'll go and talk to the sister he or she or maybe someone else best friend mother father but actually everybody is involved in his doom they want him to suffer it's like they are enjoying this they want him to be like their puppet first they you know used all the love bombing all the love and you know all the cuteness and smiles and gifts and presents and maybe money investments big deal all those things maybe they gifted him a car also who knows what all they did to trap him again him or her so the masculine collective basically so now he can see that they are all hidden enemies they just want him to be or her to be a puppet just dance on their tunes just dance on their beats and they don't care he feels he or she feels that there is, there is no empathy like there is no humanity forget humanity forget empathy there is nothing like nothing which can be called something like what the hell am i doing here how did i get myself into this horrible situation it's because of me only that feel i was the one who was playing a game with someone else and look what i've got in return the next thing is then after all this when they don't take any action here they just figure it out that these people are dangerous they are very like they terrorize others so maybe he also figures out some other things about them some stories about them about their family about their life about their background which he could have never imagined in his even in his nightmares he realizes that these people are not good people they are very bad people they have you know troubled many people they've created pain for many innocent beings okay and i like he's like oh, what did i do what did i put myself into so he figures it out then he starts to basically balance his energies out okay he figures out a way how to fix the situation these arguments this negativity these problems like i am going to fix it he says so he starts balancing things out he doesn't share much he doesn't speak much with anyone he keeps things to himself no oversharing so the masculine collective basically learns to go within on their own because of whatever happened so that's the reason why we tell feminine the feminine collective whether you're a man or a woman if you relate more with the chaser energies or if you feel that you know you have you gotten your kundalini activated like it got activated and ever since you're a changed person you're more empathetic you're a nurturer you have many of those qualities you know you feel like your heart has become more and more kind you know so it is very much possible that you could be going through this situation as a man and uh, like you are a man and you are feminine your female companion it could be same sex also guys so you guys know better you know who's playing what role here so maybe your uh, girlfriend or your love the love of your life she chose someone else thinking that she would be much happy with someone else but now that man is like the karmic they never wanted and uh, they don't feel interested in the karmic anymore they feel like you know the farther the better better if she's away or he's away i don't want to deal with this person only i want to just live my life you know as calmly as i can so they look for other 
like recreations, connections. They start working on some ideas, basically. They start trying to balance life, you know, in a way that they have their own uh, source of energy, you know. They, they meet friends, they make new friends or they just connect with old people who are nice to them, who could understand them, you know. And they also realize how important it is to be calm and composed. And for that, you need to, you know, let go and you need to just accept whatever has happened and sort of also accept your mistake and all this. Maybe that's what God is trying to tell you. The next thing I'm being shown is that uh, I see like a person getting defeated. Okay, a person is getting defeated. In this context, in this whole situation, it's probably not negative. Usually this card, Five of Swords, we don't see it as a very positive card. But we look at the other cards. The other cards are quite uh, favoring this situation, you know, this person. But uh, they also get defeated. Like they get defeated because we are channeling for the divine masculine collective. So the karmic defeats them very badly. Or she shows them, you know, that you are going to lose from me. I am more powerful than you. They degrade. The karmic degrades them. Dishonor them. You know, a lot of it happens. And they take it. They take the defeat. Now, it could be possible that she tries to put him in his place when he tries to run away or he tries to balance things out and he says that, you know, I need to get my own energy source. I need to be dependent. I can't be with this crazy woman or crazy man. So they try to put him in his place. But this defeat is not permanent defeat because after this, we have the eight of wands and things change. Things are going to change majorly because he will he will looking at the defeat he will learn from the defeat he will realize that okay i need to do something else now i need to figure something else so that defeat will become his strength later on for some people it could already be happening they could be going through it they could be like sad about it but they're going to turn it around probably reverse it because the other cards are very positive around this this particular card okay had it been a single card, then I would not have said the same thing. So, it's not a single card here. It's surrounded by other cards. Activities, he will perform many activities. He will be very swift after that. After he gets defeated, he will become very swift. And he will have great hope. He will reach to his end goal. He will definitely reach to his end goal. Whatever he is thought in his head how to get rid of the karmic or what to do about this whole situation. Maybe she stalks him. Maybe she's checking his phone and she tells him that I found this on your phone. I can destroy you in seconds, blah, blah, blah. So he accepts the defeat. He will probably beg her, you know, like, sorry, please don't do this to me and this and that. And then there is also seven of swords, which came in the last reading also. So what he's eventually going to do is Step by step, he is going to become very smart. Step by step. At the end, he will just run. <laughs> now he will run for real. Okay, this is the time he will realize that this is the time I need to run. Last time I was running away from my love, my luck, my destiny, my happiness, my hope, my beautiful, you know, my beautiful person. I was running away and I did run away. And I, at that time also he left something behind, he or she. This time I am going to run away like to save my life, to save myself and whatever stays behind, I don't even care about it. She can keep it all or he can keep it all. Then next immediately is celebration. So he will be successful in, in running away or in whatever he's going to do. He doesn't want to turn around. He doesn't want to look back. Whatever she says, I want this, I want that. She's like, He's like, okay, take it. If he's a rich man and she says, I want this much money, he'll be like, okay, keep this much money and just leave me alone. Or something will happen, you know, there is a hand of luck also here due to the eight of wands. It is like sort of saying that great hope, great positivity, positivity, something big will happen that will change his life from that person who was running away and this and that to this person, okay? To this person who is very confident, smart, 
intelligent he knows how to handle the whole thing maybe he'll find out he or she will find out they will find out some of the weaknesses of the karmics like they'll figure out oh i did not know the secret i know something that they don't know and he will learn to battle with these type of people that's why the battle he will get defeated once you know once he will have a major blow he'll get a major blow but then he will figure out that these are all in hindi we have a word called lichad <laughs> lichad okay so you guys can also learn these words you know and use it <laughs> so lichad are those people who are really pathetic people you know so he if he is these are lichards i need to run away from these people and i don't care whatever is gone is gone i just want to get out from this mess and then finally uh when they celebrate uh it's a very happy celebration he heals the feminine also he heals the feminine within him because masculine is supposed to heal the feminine and feminine is supposed to heal the masculine and then eventually they are both supposed to come in the balance situation so here also you know the conclusion is that there is lot of happiness perfection merriment or you can go close to perfection the outcome is very good there is victory there is fulfillment there is healing even healing is being shown you know so all of these things and it will all happen for sure so now i am just wondering because this seven of swords popped in towards the end of it so i don't know where is like this is the only confusion i have either because after celebration and after all of this there's no point running away so i am just guessing this is a part of it or because this came up in the last session also last channeling also it's coming again so universe is trying to tell me that this could also happen because it's very strongly being shown here so on this note i am going to uh, close this particular session thank you so much for being here with me and i'll see you soon in another one one love and peace out